Alrighty everyone, welcome to Advent to Code Day 15. Here's hoping we continue on the success from yesterday's into today. But just like all the past days, code's all set up here. Files ready for the inputs, which we'll grab right about now. Let's get into it. Nice and short read. Long input, you'll love to see it. Okay, what do we what do we got for today? You almost reached the exit of the cave, but walls are getting closer together. Someone can barely still fit uh, through. The main problem is that the walls of the cave are covered in whatever those are. It'd be best not to bump any of them. The cavern is large, but it has a very low ceiling, restricting your motion to two dimensions. The shape of the cavern resembles a square. A quick scan of the density proves the map of risk level throughout the cave, your puzzle inputs. You start at the top left position. Your destination is the bottom right position. You cannot move diagonally. The number at each position is the risk level. Determine the total risk of the entire path. Add up the risk level of each position you enter. As you don't, um, your goal is to find the path of the lowest risk total in this example is highlighted here. I'm thinking we're doing some A star. I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm hearing some A star here. Unfortunately, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know the, uh, I can't, I can't produce a star off the top of my head, but that's what I'm uh, I'm getting here. So let's just go and start by um, reading our input into a two-dimensional integer array, shall we? Um, that's going to be input dot size and input get zero dot length. Okay. Um, uh, and uh, this is going to be the row is zero while uh, the row is less than input dot size row plus plus k. Okay. Um, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm getting myself. Let's just get this input in before I get through to the A star. So, I yeah. I know the answer to this is going to be an A star. Um, that's like literally the definition of A star is for this problem. I know what it is, but it doesn't help that I don't know how to implement it, which kind of ruins the point of this, um, of knowing what it is, I guess. Um, we're gonna go to map of row column is going to be integer parse int of s dot char at zero, not zero, uh, call. Oh, let's once we do this. Um, we're just gonna do a magic number here. It's what, 48, I think is the magic number for this. Um, so I'm brought to the point of using magic numbers for this. I agree, it's not the best to use magic numbers, but uh, in something like this, it's kind of just a, um, a you know, just a balancing act, I guess. I agree, I'm not a huge fan of using a magic number like that to you know convert from a char to an integer, but yeah. Okay, um, so that'll give us our map here. So now we need to go from the upper left. Um, to the bottom right, given the lowest resistance path. Um, how do you... Can I make up how you do A star off the top of my head? Um, so it's going to be count is starting at zero. Um, Okay, let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna have a uh, list of points here. These are gonna be our path points. Um, it's breaking off and then... Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of how you do because the the point is you're gonna be starting you know here you're gonna be kind of building up and taking the path of least resistance as you go while also still considering the previous 
uh, locations you can go. <laughs> Why don't you know how to do A star in Java? I sh I should totally know how to do A star. I don't know why I don't though. Um, give me some time to think. I might have to do some googling, but uh, let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. We have to build a tree. That's what I'm messing up on. This is a tree. Okay, so we need. Okay, okay, okay. We need a tree, which means we need nodes. That's what I'm messing up on. That's what I'm missing from this is having some sort of node system. Um, you can kind of reference the parent. Um, private static node. Just call us a node. Um, class node. Sorry. So this is going to have a private. Or no, let's make it public. Public int cost but a public node parent. The cost is going to be cumulative. Uh, actually, let's do cost and let's do cumulative cost. Um, So this is going to be our graph here, a list of nodes. Um, you should not have a parent. Or should I do the parent node has children nodes? Let's do both. It's probably not necessary for me to do both, but it might, it'll make it easier for me to go down and then back up. Actually, no, no, we don't need, if we're just going down and then going back up, we don't need children. So let's just go with parent then. Okay, so then we're going to do a, um, I should also throw a point on this. So let's then throw a constructor onto this real quick. Um, generate a nice constructor. All right, so this is actually, so these are both going to be nodes here. These are going to be the available nodes. Now we don't need that. And so now we can do then a new node. Um, parent will be null for this one to start. The cost is map zero zero um, the cumulative cost is this as well with a new point at zero zero okay so now we have to go through available and find the node with the lowest cumulative cost to add on. Yes. Okay. Um, so for node n in available, we want, so this is going to be node lowest. Um, let's make this available get zero. Go through this and we'll just do a check here if n dot cumulative cost is less than lowest dot cumulative cost. Go ahead and set lowest equal to n. That's all we care about, right? Um, and at the very end we'll do available um, remove lowest, kick it out, so now we have available, we have the lowest node now. So now we need to add it to graph. It already has its parent, so graph add lowest. Good, and then now we need, we don't need to add it to graph. Yeah, we should though. 
So now we have the on the graph, so now we need to go through and add all of its neighbors. So um, if lowest point column minus one is greater than or equal to zero, um, we need to do point um, new point is a new point and it's going to be this with this being row instead of column. I'm like, it's hard for me to explain this while I'm doing something. I'm sort of playing it myself here. So sorry, this is not as informative as usually it is. Um, and then now we need to go through the the current graph assuming that none of these nodes have this we can go ahead and add it but if any of the graph nodes have this point we can't add to this graph because there's no way that this can be lower than something that's already added this uh, to the graph so if n dot point equals new point new point we set has point equal to true uh, we should also break here, which means I should do this as well. However, if it does not have the point, then we can go ahead and do available add new node, the parent being lowest, um, the cost being lowest, uh, no, the cost being map of new point dot call row row and new points dot column d uh, let's actually do this uh, and cost because we're gonna need this for the cumulative here anyways actually we don't need to throw cumulative into here because cumulative can be the parent cumulative cost, um, actually, parent plus the cost. That will save us. It doesn't really save us anything. Just makes it so we have to do one less calculation here. Okay. Um, so we can then just do lowest cost and then new point, right? And we're good. I think so. I think that does the logic for adding that one. Just making sure in my head. I think so. So that goes and adds it to available. Golden there. Um, let's go ahead and deal with that. And this is going to be less than um, this is columns, so it's got to be map that. Technically, I could put the row there, but it's fine. That's uh, fine. Let's do it the right way. Row. Okay. Um, and in this case, we plus one. All the same logic. Do that. We can actually make this a little bit more efficient. Um, put this in a for loop and do this. Because what we could do is we could do a list of points here. This is to check. Make this a little bit more efficient. So for point, new point in to check. This logic is kind of all the same for all of them, so it doesn't matter there. So we just need to actually do this once over for all of these. And then go ahead and do the exact same thing, except this time it's rows. Rows should actually be first, but you know, whatever. This is map dot length, uh, row minus one, row plus one, column, column. 
Okay, so that'll go through and do that. And now we should be good. Um, we just need to go until we reach the end, um, which is going to be this case here. We just got to check if lowest um, point row equals the map dot length and lowest point column map um, and not let's ah, just do zero I'm lazy zero so if we are minus one because <laughs> that's the end if we are at this point now we can actually return out of this actually we don't need to return we should just break so actually what we should do um what we can call a lap um, so now we have to go back through and add up all the things. So now we got to go for um, no while we need node at equals lowest. So we got to do while at does not equal null. Um, go ahead. We need to int. We need to do our count here. And oh no no no. No, 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 just lowest cumulative cost. That's all we need to do. Technically, we could make it a little bit more efficient where we just added it, but this is fine. We could, yeah, you would add it down there, but this should get us there, right? Oof. Well, you know, <laughs> let's go up slowly. Well, I something's not right. Well, let's use the test. So it should be forty. So let's see if we break forty at all. Oh, okay. Well, we got there. Forty-six. Okay, so something. Something isn't right. Okay, uh, what we can do though to check it is we can do um, We can actually do this node thing so node while Oops uh, System out print print uh, we can print um, at dot cost um, now let's do this at dot point plus cost and then at equals at dot parent Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it goes zero, 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 one. Why are all these costs one, one? That's not one. Why are these costs messed up? Why is this not right? Oh, what the heck? Oh, well, that would also be a problem. 41. Okay, so did go the right path, though? Um, but we don't start because we don't count the beginning. Okay, so that I was right. Okay, okay, okay. So remove this, so that's all fixed. Um, we can just put zero for this, and we should be good to go. To get rid of that, get rid of that. So this should give us 40 reset to our inputs. Let's see how long it takes. Um, A star is not efficient. Well. Wow. 
That's unfortunate that my A star is very inefficient. I mean, this is what happens when you try and make up A star on the fly. So what if I'm trying to think? What's uh, what's something I can do to here to change that cumulative cost to not be this? I can do the cumulative cost to yes. What could I also then? Multiply it by I wanted to get higher to get closer. So what if I do public int get um cost the f value? Because this is kind of what this is gonna be. What if we return um I do you want to do the uh, um, distance formula? Yeah, let's just do this distance formula. Sure, this is not a huge deal. So it's going to be what? Um, 100 minus, oh, that's math dot, uh, whatever. Um, uh, the cumulative cost. No, 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 not the cumulative cost. The, uh, point dot, uh, this is X or column. Okay, so do that, it's gonna be the times two bit. And then add on for the row. So that gives us the distance and then we wanna multiply the distance. So as we get closer, um, so as the distance gets smaller, so we do 100 minus, sure. Um, let's multiply this by five. I'm just, I'm just kind of making up some random scaling values here. Um, and then multiply this by the Oh, wait, we want the smallest, right? So no, 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 no. So yeah, cumulative cost. So wait, ignore this then. Just do that. Uh, fine, we can change this to return a double. Okay. So instead of doing this check here, we want to do the get f value. Does this speed it up any bit at all? Oh. <laughs> that made it insanely quicker. If this is going to be correct, uh, I swear, if this is correct, no, OK. One could have hoped. All right, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna call it there. I, I can't, I've been trying part one for a while. I, unfortunately, I'm not familiar enough with A star. I've been going for an hour now. I need to uh, cut myself off at some point that I can get some sleep for tonight. So unfortunately, this day I'm taking the L on. I'm not gonna get either part. Um, I'm there, um, just not close enough. Again, I, I know the concept of A star. I know why A star is Good for this. I don't know if it's the solution, but I know why it's a good solution for this. Unfortunately, I just don't know it well enough to implement it and to know um, how to fix the issue of it going everywhere. I don't know how to make it. I don't. Have, I don't get this f value here to be correct enough. I, it's something small. I don't know. But at any rate, if you have any suggestions for me or if you know kind of where I'm going wrong, feel free to leave comments. I still want to try and solve this at some point. It just won't be part of the video. Um, so again, if you have suggestions or help or hints from me, feel free to leave in the comments. Hopefully this at least, uh, if you're stuck, this helps um, point you in the right, right direction. But unfortunately, yeah, I'm not gonna get the part today. Um, so, sad. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, to, I mean, I'll give myself credit though for knowing what A star is, 
and attempting to implement something I've never done it before, it's actually pretty, not a half bad job. I'm just not there in the uh, the whole thing. So at any rate, that's gonna be for today. Um, yeah, sorry, but uh, can't win them all. So anyways, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all tomorrow for day 16, where we're hopefully back on track. See you later. Peace out.